they were so quiet until I turned on the video. Did they know? I think so. They're hands. So we are off on our big trip. We're we got our good start this morning. Yeah. We left we early, early and we're on the road. We hit a little little bit of traffic, but we're on the open road and we've got a long day of travel in front of us. But oh, we just can't wait to get to the coast, and we're going to go up the coast of Oregon. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be so neat seeing stuff we haven't seen before. Plus, we're in a self-driving car, so look, I don't need any hands. Man. Stop. He's, oh, he's just full of these jokes all day long. Just to entertain me. Yep. We're looking forward to finding some good coffee on the way. So to prepare for this trip, we did two things to our trailer. Yes. We had, instead of one car battery, we now have two golf cart batteries, deep cycle. Deep cycle. <clears throat> like deep dish pizza. So that was a big repair that we had our trailer repair guy do, and he did an amazing job. It looks so good. And we also got brand new tires. Okay. We kept saying the tires look good, they look good, they've got good tread, they look good. So our tire guy had a look at them, and he said, well, they do look good with the tread, but they're really old tires, and that's not that's not good. Yeah, they're eight-year-old, eight or nine-year-old tires. He said, he said, going to the coast, that might be all right, you know, because it's not risking too much, but up to Oregon and back, no way. So we got all new tires, Yay. new batteries, and we're ready to go. Yay. The doggies awesome. are quiet. Oh, we worked with our trailer guy to figure out how the uh, why the generator was overloading. You know, we've talked about that generator not working. Oof. It was just overloading. It was too much for the generator we bought. And so the trailer guy was super helpful. He started saying, well, let's turn some things off and on and just find out. So all we had to do was turn off one thing and the generator works great, charges the battery, and it's something we don't need to have on all the time. Have you guessed? Water heater. Yep. We turned off the water heater and it works. It's super cool. Yeah. So we decided to just turn the water heater on when we need it. We actually have a trailer that everything works on right now. That's everything works? Oh my gosh, is there any fake wood in here that I can knock on? Alright, we'll check back in later. o'clock but we're setting up in the dark it just took us so much longer to get here than we thought but apparently the ocean is right between those two buildings I can almost hear it so we're in the first spot can't wait to see it in the daylight here we are on day one and here's how it went so we packed the night before night yes night because steve was working i did packing during the day for myself but the trailer had to get packed with whatever he needed to do had to be done in, in the dark but we got up really early which was also dark we both got up around 4 4 30 and we were trying to get out of there by 7 and we did we did great man i just got to say so we hit traffic in sacramento which ate up a bunch of our time and it just took so much longer to get here than the map said it would so we had this free will and plan like we were just going to get there in the daylight and kind of look around and see where we wanted to stay no reservations I mean we're off season we figured we could get something and then all of a sudden it's after five and we're like oh my gosh we have no place to stay and we're not going to get there till like nine at night truly we got here at nine so I found some place. I got some apps off 
you know, somebody else's YouTube channel and I was looking at, you know, all the reviews and some couple of people had reviewed this place and it said it was really nice. So I said, let's just go there and we'll see if they have any spots. And we get here and we're driving around and, you know, they, they did have open spots. So we kind of were looking for an office or something and we got stuck. <laughs> we got to the end and it was muddy and we had no place to turn around and he's like okay I'll direct you drive so I'm trying to back it up and he's trying to tell me which way to turn the wheel and we got out of there we did good I think we did good we we're good at giving he's good at giving directions and I'm good at following them so we got out and we and we're like we pulled up to the bathroom area like there's this um building and I said let's just call the number just in case maybe somebody will answer oh <gasps> somebody answered so this guy's all, well, come on down to the office. We're like, we didn't see the office. So we went down to the office and there he was. And he said, oh my gosh, he just caught me. I was going to leave in 10 minutes. So he got us a spot and we set up in 30 minutes. We're cozy as can be. It's, you know, there's my bed all made up. The doggies are comfy. Hubby's working because he never takes any time off. And we have full hookups. And guess what? It's dark, so I don't know where we are, what what it looks like here. But there's a lot of nice, nice, nice RVs, so we figure we're safe. And there are fishing boats about 50 feet from us. So we can hear the ocean crashing waves. We're close to the ocean. We know it for sure. It's on the map we can tell, and we can hear it, and we're super anxious to get up in the morning and explore. So that is how day one has gone. All travel. It was beautiful. We, we went right by... Lake Shasta, Mount Shasta, and oh my gosh, the state of California is so huge. Because I've been to Southern California a bunch of times, but never all the way to the border. And then going from, we say we live in Northern California, but there's like hours and hours and hours of more of California north of us. That's crazy. So we're in Oregon. We are barely in Oregon, but we're in Oregon and we're about to explore, so. That was day one. Just woke up. We slept late because we had a long, a long travel day. And like right across the street is a hotel, that one. And then this is what we can see. Like, we picked such a great spot. Like we're just walking on the beach this morning. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. I don't know if you can even hear because sometimes when the phone is in the wind, you can't hear it. lighthouse and we saw this walkway this uh, jetty or whatever had a walkway see that right there 
Oh my gosh, so we could see in the distance these tall formations we thought were like rocks or something. They are anchors, these huge anchors. And it's just bizarre, very cool. So now we know, and now we have to walk all the way back, which was super taxing. Half mile. Oh my God. We got our workout for today, just out of curiosity. Weird. So we had a great day. Oh my gosh. We got here last night in the dark, set up in the dark, and we didn't really know where we were. We knew we were near the ocean. But oh my gosh, where we're sitting right now, it's just a, a couple minutes, like literally a couple minutes walk through a couple buildings and down to this ocean. Right across the street, yeah. So we're in Brookings, Oregon, and we got up this morning and had our shake, and then um, we kind of explored. We walked down here and walked around, and it was really nice. And then we had a nice lunch at a restaurant that's hooked to this hotel. Super friendly people here, don't you think? Oh, yeah, yeah, they were great. And then what did we do? We found the Starbucks. Good Starbucks, yeah. And we went to a, there was a local park here. What was it called? Uh, like Azalea, Azalea Park. park. So chapel, pretty. Yeah. It's super windy, so we might want to talk loud. It had a chapel in it. It was super cool. It looked like something Frank Lloyd Wright. A glass chapel. Yeah. That was really cool. Walked around there, and then we drove down to the Redwood Forest, and we drove around there. Yeah. What's it? Jefferson? Was it Jefferson? Jedediah Smith. Jedediah Smith. Jedediah Smith. Yeah. So that was south of here and also south of here is Crescent City. So we were so close, like we were right there. So we went to Crescent City and all we really did there was um, go look at this lighthouse that we had seen before in Crescent City. And it was so cool. We walked up to it and then we saw this jetty. Would you call it a jetty? Breakwater. Breakwater. This long cement walkway that just went out into the bay. And there was these like weird looking formations, rocks or whatever in the distance. So we started walking and it was just like crazy. But we got down there and it was anchors. Yeah, giant, giant cement contraptions of some sort. So our goal like right now water. is to just sit here and watch the sunset. Then we're gonna go back to our camper and just relax, watch a little TV, get up in the morning and pack up and move north. Yes, we're gonna scratch our heads and figure out where to go next. We don't know. Not really sure but we're looking forward to it. So, so beautiful right now. The sun setting and the ocean waves, the sound of the waves. Oh, and I can just see the sun just sinking right in. There's nothing like the ocean, I just love it. It's so big. You just have to think about how big it is. And we're just sitting right on the edge of a little tiny, tiny speck of it. You hear that sound? It's awesome.
have it. sit way down there and I'm like um no and look just like that it's gone did you have a nice day Buster did you have a nice day or are you looking for doggies so you can bark at them Okay, so tonight is so windy outside. Do you hear that? That it's blowing our bumpkins around. Last night we had our gizmos on and they flapped in the wind and I thought, well, tonight we'll take them off and we'll be fine. Only uh, there's no gizmos out there right now and it's so loud. It's shaking the whole trailer. So this was a long day of just driving. Yes. All we did was drive today. And we went from our first camping place to our second. And what said on the map it would take five hours took six or seven. Six or seven, at least seven. It's just not correct. Yeah. We're, we're trying to figure out what is correct because well, we, go, think, we go slow and we had a lot of towns to stop in. I think your idea is good. Figure out what the map says and then add a third we're gonna extra add a third. time. Just for stopping and, you know, getting snacks and gas and whatever. Dogs, Walk the dogs. You know? yeah. We have two more places we're going to camp after this. So we're going to be here uh, tonight and tomorrow day and then tomorrow night. So we got here after dark. We don't know what it looks like here. But the campground is really nice. Oh, man. Yeah. Really I found it clean. by looking at these apps that um, I'll put a link to them. But I kind of check them all because I want to see different reviews. And uh, this one just had great reviews, and I can see why it's it's top notch. It was expensive; it's like fifty some fifty five dollars a night, but that's not bad for what you're getting. It's safe and clean, and yeah. amenities, and yeah, it's nice to have something that's um, a little protected. I guess is the way I would look at it, and just you just feel comfortable at. I, there, I, I noticed three things different about. Oh, sorry, my arm is getting tired holding this. Well, you're holding it. Uh, higher. Uh, higher. <laughs> I noticed uh, three things about Oregon that are different than California today. Uh, the first would be you don't have to pay for bags at the supermarket. They just right. give you bags. Okay, I felt so guilty. They gave me bags. We also got straws, too. I don't know if that's a crime or not. Uh, what was the other one? Um, oh, yeah, you can't pump your gas. Yeah, somebody has to pump the gas for you. So it feels weird just hand somebody your credit card and have them go pump it. And it's like... You feel like you want to tip them, so I, I do, but they say, oh, we're not supposed to take tips. I don't know if it's different because it's a different state, but the entry door was on the wrong side when we went into Safeway. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, when you, the automatic doors, they're they're. So they're I'm, having a, I'm having a shake Yeah. because we ate a lot of junk food today. Uh, it's, it wasn't like totally junk. It was just nah. too... Yeah. But I had a bunch of those, uh, like, trail mix You kind of ate things. junk food more than I did. I did. I did. I, I 
I just admit to that. But I need to do it just to stay awake when I'm driving. Right. So all I really want is my mm. shake. Wow, wow, wow. And after that, I'm going to have something. I'm going to jump on that shake, too. About after half that, an hour later. After that, gonna, we're going to have a glass of wine. I'm going to get back into some bad food maybe a little bit later. We'll see. I did buy some. Oh, one cookies. other thing that's different about Oregon today. There's electricity here. <laughs> <laughs> They've turned it off where we're at. The whole time we've been gone <laughs> at our house, power's out. Yeah. Because we're in Northern California. So that's kind of cool, you know? We're taking vacation just at the right time when the power is turned off. So all the places I've found for us to stay have hookups. So we're not boondocking at all on this trip. We're just being tourists and yep. enjoying. Oh my gosh, it was a long drive, but it was beautiful. Oh, the coast was amazing. It oh. was so hard to not stop and just see all the sights. I definitely would want to come back for two things. One is Jerry's Rogue River boat trips. Mm -hmm. You know, they kind of they put have you fast on a fast boats. boat. Yeah, and you go right up next to bears and stuff, that, from what I understand. And then uh, also Coos Bay. Oh, man, I wanted so much to stop there. There's like old railroad museums. It's a beautiful harbor. It was really pretty. There's so much stuff to see there. I would definitely go back just for I Coos hope this Bay. town's that pretty. We'll yeah, see tomorrow. Yeah, we'll find out tomorrow, yeah. And after, uh, after here, a couple oh, days. Oh, did I say that in. we've gotten really good at setup and takedown? Yes. We're getting fast. Yeah. We're getting about as fast as my arm is getting tired holding the phone up. Okay. So we'll talk we tomorrow. better go. Right now we are on the beach and we are looking for glass floats. Apparently this is something where they hide these really pretty glass, low glass pieces. Which are to find. Yep. Should be like lots of all the way up down the coast, like a 10 mile stretch. So we're gonna go looking. It's like a treasure hunt. <laughs> 